Welcome. Today we're going to show you how to tension the chain on this Mototech Mod Monster 98cc gas go kart. Firstly, a couple of things we need. You need one, really preferably two, 10 millimeter wrenches like this. This is a ratcheting kind. I'll leave a link in the description below. Makes it a little bit easier when you're working. You'll need a 12 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter wrench. All right, let's go ahead. All right, first things first, where's the chain? I'm gonna walk around the cart here. You'll see the pull start right here. It's where you start the cart. Coming right around, you'll see the chain cover back here. You're gonna see these two bolts here that we're gonna to have to take off with the 10 millimeter socket. We go around a little bit here. On the front, there's one more 10 millimeter we're gonna to have to do to get the chain cover off. Let's go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and take these 10 millimeter bolts off. You can cheat a little bit and use an impact wrench if you've got one. You can see I'm putting my finger behind here a little bit just to hold that bolt in place, make it a little bit easier to get off. Here's your main chain with the chain cover off. This one's actually adjusted really nicely. It's tight enough that it won't come off. You can see there's a little play on both sides, but it's loose enough it won't do any damage by being over tight. This is really about where you want it. Uh, we've been running this cart for a while. We haven't had problems with the chain coming off, so we know this is a good setting. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna loosen this right up for the video just so you can see uh, where it might be in your situation. All right, before we go, let me just orient you on how we got here and where everything is. So firstly, I've put the cart up on four automotive jack stands. Again, I'll put the link in the description. These are standard three ton jack stands that you can get at any automotive store, Walmart. But as I said, I'll put a link in the description below if you're looking to order them uh, online. You can see our chain cover here. I put the three bolts and nuts in there all right, let's orient ourselves a little bit here. So here's the back of the engine. These two bolts here, a little hard to see on the camera, but right at the bottom of the engine. So I'll zoom out and I'll come back in again. These two bolts, one, two right here, they're the ones we're gonna to use to tighten and loosen the chain. Now really importantly, it's gonna tighten up really nicely because the tension of those bolts are gonna pull the engine backwards to tighten the chain. So the engine pulls backwards, as you can see, is gonna tighten that chain up. If you need to loosen the chain, we're gonna to have to push the engine forward a little bit. And we're probably gonna to have to do that a little bit manually because there will be no force of those bolts. Second lot is the bolts holding the motor to the frame here. You can see there are four bolts underneath here. One, two, three, and four. Those are 13 millimeter bolts. These ones on the back are 12 millimeter. The ones we took off the chain guard are 10 millimeter if you didn't already work that out. All right, so as you're loosening these bolts up, when you put the wrench there, if you're, if you're behind the cart, you want to pull the wrench towards you to loosen it up. So you want to pull that, I've got that ring end on there. You can see I'm pulling this open end towards the back of the cart to loosen these up. All right, so I'm gonna start on number one of these four bolts here. As I said, this is 13 millimeter. It's nice if you have a ratcheting wrench. You'll see how, kind of how this works right now. Let's start to loosen this bolt. You heard that crack there. I can just ratchet this back nicely so I get this nice and loose here. I'm gonna go through and do all four. All right, now these two are gonna be the ones that you loosen or tighten if you wanna loosen or tighten the chain. So basically these bolts here, when you tighten them, these bolts come back, pull the whole engine back and tighten this chain up. Right now I'm gonna loosen them off. As I said before, this is a 12 millimeter. You can see there's actually two bolts here that are kind of moving together. All right. You can see there, there's a little bit of a space now between this bolt 
and the chassis here of the go-kart. This will allow you to move the, the uh, engine back and forward if you've loosened your bolt underneath enough. In most cases, you wouldn't be loosening the chain. You're going to be tightening it if it's uh, coming off because it's a little bit loose. So to loosen this right up, I really had to back off those bolts underneath the motor, uh, and that allowed me to move the motor forward and loosen this chain up. So now it's nice and loose. Most of the time, you'll be doing what I'm about to show you here and tightening it up. It's actually a lot easier than loosening it. So to tighten this chain, you're gonna take your 12 millimeter wrench and tighten up these bolts. Now be careful because you really want these about the same tightness as each other. So as I go ahead and tighten this up, you'll see I'm getting a little more tension in this chain. This is not quite tight enough yet. So I'm gonna tighten this up. All right, we've got a pretty good tension here. Just know that sometimes it takes a little bit of trial and error. We're gonna go ahead and tighten up those bolts underneath and I'll be right back. Motor's tightened up now. Chain's a good tension. We'll just kind of run that around a little bit and just make sure we have a good tension all the way around. You saw in the video previously, I was actually pulling this and you could see the motor moving up and down a bit. That's because I had those bolts loose on the bottom. Actually, I had to do this again because when I tightened those bolts up, the chain actually tightened up a little bit. And that's because I really backed them off to loosen this chain up. So uh, in most cases, you won't have this problem. You'll just be able to kind of loosen those bolts a little bit tighten those bolts uh, up at the back and you'll be in great shape. So one final step here while you're at it is you wanna lubricate the chain. It's a really great idea to keep this chain lubricated at all time. I use this Lucas Chain Lube. I've had really great success with it with my other go-karts. And you can just give it a little hit while you turn the engine over here a bit. It'll be really generous actually. Just get that on there, good. Might make it a little bit of a mess. Get it on both here. All right. Make sure that's nice and lubed up. I'll leave a link for this in the description down below as well so you can get that on Amazon if you want. Final step, we'll just get this cover back on. And that's pretty much a reverse of the prior process of putting these bolts back in place. When you're done here, you'll also want to rotate the wheel a little bit. Just make sure that your chain guard's in good. Nothing's hitting. Everything looks good here. Our tension's still really good. All right. Thanks for watching.